I don't think it makes sense to go full down the route of things like Silver Blue. Like they, they're like the approach they're taking is locked file system and then do everything in flat packs, which works for a lot of stuff. But you know, you if you're on like if you're on Silver Blue and you want to go and install different drivers, for example, you've got to then start building your own images, which you know gets and it. and with that if you want to support weird hardware like let's say our macbooks mm-hmm. well i mean fedora supports it but that's a little bit different though <laughs> like if you want to support like odd hardware, like linux phones or mm-hmm. i mean android phones in middle distro distros you're gonna have to rebuild everything it's just there is a lot more to work with with nix if it's just I hate the derivation that spits out a disk image. You can be able to simplify things a lot more. Mm-hmm. And so you also get the benefit of it being all in code mm-hmm. through Nix. So it's just a lot easier to manage than like 20 bash scripts and weird commands you have to memorize. I mean, Nix does have its yeah, weird commands. I was going to say, don't but, talk, but don't talk about weird commands in Nix. But I mean, Nix's commands are a lot easier to understand because, like, it's Nix build, and then you say what you want to build. Mm-hmm. You can do some extra things, like, say, like, checking how much jobs you want to run and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. But every build system has that sort of thing. But you don't have weird flags, like, to change, like, debugging or i mean well nix does have that it's hard to explain it 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 puts those flag behind an easier to understand abstraction right yeah don't get me wrong i like i i think the these distros like silver like steam os they make sense i think they make a lot of sense for like appliance type devices where there is a set piece of hardware like the steam deck is a perfect sort of device for something like that it's it's not really treated like a... You can use it like a computer, but it's a console. You update the console when the update comes out. And for certain kinds of people who don't really modify their system, who can get away with doing everything in in flat packs, yeah, it's fine. Um, yeah. I, I, I think they have a place, but there's a lot of people who think they are going to take over the entire world of Linux, which I, I frankly don't see. Yeah, I mean... You can actually do a lot of appliance things with Nix just because it's like, hey, instead of it, this is this thing like build root or like Yocto. It's just a Nix image. You just build it and flash it mm-hmm. and you can treat it like your regular mutable system, mm-hmm. even though it's a little bit of a different concept. It can do the same thing. Mm-hmm. But there is benefits of having things like silver blue already exist it it depends on like what you want to do really and what you're comfortable with mm-hmm. right yeah a, a lot of people may not be comfortable jumping into nix and this uh, as, as i was saying earlier this is one of the common things that comes up with nix um we, we're not going to rehash that topic again but it is definitely something that comes up quite frequently with nix where it's like oh i think the idea is cool but like i don't really know where to get started with it um one thing I want to ask, and this is kind of jumping back to the thing about rollbacks. Um, I was just having a look at the at the How Nix Works page, and it mentions when you uninstall a package, the package isn't actually uninstalled. It's It sits around in what it refers to in a state waiting to be garbage collected, which usually is a term that you hear for programming languages. Um, I guess it's just using the term garbage collection here as a way to basically mean cash yeah i mean there is not really a better word than garbage collection to describe Mm -hmm. it because you can kind of think of a nix nix derivation as like a an object Mm -hmm. and then it's like oh this object is unused right so just clean it up it's a garbage collection Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and so at that point when you unreference a package if you have automatic garbage collection or you run the 
nix collect garbage command, mm -hmm. it's going to look for every single derivation that is unreferenced and its parents. And if those are unreferenced, it's just going to remove them because mm -hmm. why is it there if no one's using them?